Therese Cullen is a harpist who plays music for patients at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas, Texas, as part of their Arts in Medicine program. She has two jobs. As a music practitioner, she plays for patients who are expected to recover. As a music thanatologist, she plays for patients nearing the end of life. We'll often say when we leave the office, we have a list of patients that our uh, orders have been requested for, and we never know how the day is going to unfold. Enjoy it so much. Oh, I love being with you. It's a privilege. Thank you. Thank privilege you for, for me too. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. What drew me to this field was losing my mother back in 1997. I thought, I want to do some sort of hospice work. These emotional and existential components to suffering, frankly, is where music comes in. And I don't think we understand how it works, but it's very healing. It's very calming for the patient. Um, you can see patients relax. You can see breathing patterns change in the dying patient when music is played. Right now, we're going to be entering the room of a patient who is nearing end of life. And the approach is very different than our music practitioner approach of providing familiar music. The approach here is really to bring comfort. So we are accompanying, using the music to accompany the patient's respirations, heartbeat and respirations. So it's going to be much slower and it's the patient that is leading and guiding us to and telling us from their physiological signs how to best accompany them near the end of life and bring comfort. And this will be it's a very delicate situation. I do not take this lightly myself. I know none of us do entering the room. Uh, it's very rare to be allowed into the room at this time in one's life. And uh, the daughter has agreed to uh, let us come in, and that's where we'll be heading now. to find beauty and serenity, even though the grief can be horrible, I mean, losing someone that we so love. But I think this is one of the reasons why uh, music and presence um, can be of some comfort at this time. 